Hello everyone, my name is Alfred and welcome to my first tutorial on VIM. VIM is a test editor originally from Unix and it's already pre-installed on most of the Unix file system today, including Linux, FreeBSD and Mac OS. So today uh, the purpose of this tutorial is to just give you information, enough information to uh, let you get started. So uh, to enter the VIM editor, uh, it's just open a terminal window on Unix and then type in VIM on the command pole and hit enter. Now uh, we can see this welcome information. We are inside the interface of this editor. So to actually uh, to input something, you need to press the letter I on your keyboard. So pay attention to the left corner, le the lower left corner here. So if I press the letter I, this insert label will appear. And right now I can type something A C D E F G. So uh, inside the insert mode is just very similar to the normal editor we have been using like a notepad on Windows or test ad on Mac OS. To delete the stuff, just uh, press the fast space key. And you can see this letters got deleted. So on FreeBSD, this doesn't work. The fast space is just the same as left arrow, it just move the key. So in the future, I will teach you how to actually delete stuff using the command mode. But right now, let's just try to uh, enter something. For example, I want to say this is my first BIM tutorial. And then uh, if I want to, I finish editing and I want to exit the program and save the file, the way to do is to press ESC escape key on your keyboard and you can see the insert label disappear. Let's try to do it again. Press I, enter the insert mode, and then press ESC to escape uh, insert mode. Right now we are in the command mode. So to save and quit the program, type a colon. This colon will appear here, and WQ. W stands for Y and Q stands for quit. So after you press enter, you, you press enter, no file name, oh yeah. So we didn't give a file name in the beginning. We have to tell the computer uh, what name do you want to say. So the way is to column WQ and I'll call it test VI M and enter. And now I go back to the command pole. If I ls, I can see uh, this is the file I just added. It's test of VIM. So to open an already added file, uh, you try to use VIM, but you can press the file. You can pass the file name as a parameter to this VIM command, which is like press VIM, and then press enter. Now we go back to the file itself and so to edit this file again I press I and I can use the arrow key to edit to move the cursor just right arrow and left arrow just like what we did in the normal editor and just edit something there so and then if I regret, I don't wanna, I just wanna quit uh, the editor, don't wanna save anything. Then the way to do it is uh, press the escape key. So pay attention to here. Uh, when I press the escape key, this insert label is gone. And then I can column and Q and ban. So this ban side here actually means uh, I wanna give up the current editing. So any unsaved change will be lost. It will just quit the program without saving anything. So I press enter and quit. 
So this file is still here. Now let's go back inside to add this file again. Huh. So this file is just the same as before, doesn't change. So let me just uh, give a brief review of this to add it to start editing something. Press I and then until you see this insert label, you can add whatever and to quit is column WQ. This is save and quit. And if you don't want to save, just column Q. It's like don't save. And column Q, bam. And if you didn't change anything, you just want to uh, quit. So you can just column Q. So Q, column Q, bam. Uh, just force the program to quit without saving. Column Q is uh, if you don't save anything, it can the program will let you quit. But if you actually make some change, you will see uh, it will give you a warning, like tells you that you didn't save anything. Do you really want to quit? So I'll show this. Column Q and enter. So this tells you that uh, no rising lost change because I actually changed something here. So it wouldn't just let me quit. And I don't want to save this change. So just Q. And now I go back to the command pole. So all right, to this point, uh, you already know how to use a VI and how to add a file and how to save and create and store. So I have a source file. I have a, as you can see, in the current folder, I have a C source file here. And let's see what is inside. Test.c. So uh, another cool feature of VIM is like uh, when you are adding in code. On most of the setup today, it automatically do syntax highlight to your uh, source code. So look at the file name, it has a .c extension, so it thinks this is a C programming language source file, so it highlights the uh, keywords with different colors like this uh, type, and this preprocessor, and this backslash and special character thing, so that's making the code more clear, more readable, so that's a nice feature. And this is just the Hello World program. Uh, so by right now, let me just create the program. And to prove that this editing is good, I can compile this code and GCC test.c. And now I have a binary executable in now. I can execute it. So, all right. So. At this point, I already show how to use VIM to edit a programming language source code and compile it, and it successfully generates the binary. So, and this is my first tutorial. Uh, in the next tutorial, I will talk more about a uh, more advanced feature about VIM and making writing code a more present experience on Unix. Thank you for watching.